Awake me lover, how you doing? Welcome back to episode 2 of my FM24 Beta Saber Bristol City. Hope you're well, thank you very much for joining me today. Today is the start of the championship season. We have two games for you today. We have a Preston game at home to kick off the league. And then we have a Carabao Cup game against Crawley to come as well. Also we go for all the transfers, all the ins, all the outs, what's going on, players we're looking at. So before we get into all of that, make sure you click that like button, hit the subscribe button if you haven't already, and then ring the notification bell so you're notified when a new video does go out. We are looking to get 10 likes on this video. We can get 10 likes on this video. It would be absolutely fantastic. So here we are then. We're on the home page. We're quickly going to do what happened in pre-season. Friendly-wise, it went too bad. We had a couple of wins, a 2-0 against Wolfsburg, 5-1 against Pingu. I'm not pronouncing that name. A 7-0 against Deutschland Burger. Pronounce that one, eh? I think. Just. Then we had two back-to-back -back losses against SK Austria and SK Bevan. Bevan? Sounds about right. So I said we got Preston in the first game today. Then we have Crawley in the Carabao Cup. And then we've got Millwall, Birmingham and Hull. Three difficult games to finish off August. But you're not going to see that today, I'm afraid. So since we last met, we have brought in three players these three here. First one we brought in was Raul Walters from Arsenal, an 18 year old left back, right back on loan for the season. Decent physical, mental's right. Technically, he can be a bit, better, a bit better, but he's two and a half star, potentially a five star player. We've got to give him some game time. We've got to give him, it's going to be a rotation squad, I think, because at the moment I'm noticing we're picking up a lot, a lot of injuries. Next, we brought in Bonnie Edwards, a sign-in from Peterborough for a fee of 2.4 million. Some big clubs are looking at him as well. Physically, he's good. Mentals are unbelievable. Still has some work to do technically, but everything I like in a defender. Open promise, he's not as tall as I was like. 5 foot 11 could be a little bit taller, but 20 years old. Definitely one for the future. And the last player we bring in is Casey McAteer from Leicester on loan for the season. A good player all round. Has only played one game for Leicester, but with a three and a half star, five star potential player. 21 years old. He's a decent player. Okay, strength, he's, a, he's got to work on a bit of strength. Five foot ten, bit of pace on him. Dribbling, can he? Crossing he can work on, but we'll get all that through the season. Casey McAdeer has joined the team. As for going out, there's no one else has left. No one else who should have left. We do have a few injuries, which is why I'm bringing more players in. With all that said and done, today we do face Preston at home at Ashton Gate. It is raining. Shock is raining in Bristol. But here we go then. Get a team selection going. So this is going to be our starting eleven today. Olivier in goal. We've got Walters making his debut on, as right back. Edwards also making his debut in the centre with Vinat with Ping on the left. Naismith and James as our two midfield centre midfielders. Sykes on the right. Knight making his debut coming from uh, Derby County. And Mahetti on the left. And Tommy Conway who has just signed a new contract for us. He's here to 2027, a four-year deal contract. Bit of a pay rise. He does have a release clause of 11.75 million. But Tommy Conway is going to start us up top. On the bench, we've got Balic, Roberts, Ryman, Wells, Tanner, McAteer, Cornick, Rob Dickey, and Joe Williams. Cormick, McAteer, and Tanner have fitness issues. That's why they're not starting. So Walters on the right, making his debut along with Edwards in the centre back. Actually, he hasn't got a number. I've got to give him a man a number. Oh, I can't forget to give the man the number, Ronnie Edwards. And we're going to give Ronnie Edwards the number 22 for the season. A bit of an orthodox number, I must admit, for a centre-back. Here we go. It's Ashton Gate going to be rocking and rolling, hopefully. So it looks like they've got Freddie Woodman in goal. They've got Story, Watmo, Hughes, Potts, Brown, McCann, Brady, Kwanye, Hugh Holmes and Will Keane for them. Boys, we just got to keep it easy. Take home advantage. Always make sure we have three points from home. 
on the road just a bit different. Here we go. Ashland Gate doesn't really look like that, but it's a uh, is what is. Maybe in time we can improve the stadium. It looks all right. It doesn't look too bad. It looks like they are playing a three, a four, two, one formation. Preston. There's the league table. Like I said, we are currently sitting for the first game of the season. Southampton beat Sheffield Wednesday 1-0 on the Friday night football. Let's kick off. Let's get this game underway and see if we can actually push for playoffs. Mahey's on it already. He's on it. To James. Back to James. Prink. Edge of the box. On his right foot. Oh, no. Lays it off to Walters. Was that a shot or a cross? Never mind. Early pressure from us was good. At two and a half minutes in. Pots in for Preston with the throw. Gives it to Cronia. Back the pots, Keen. Kwong yeah, shoots. It's not the start we wanted. It's been an own goal. Is that one with an own goal, apparently? I don't see how it was an own goal. Maybe the replay will show us. Pots gives it to Keen. No one was tracking the man. Oh, he's gone for the cross, and Vinyas put his foot out. It is 1-0, Preston. 11 minutes in, Potts with the throw. Brown. Story. McCann. The Watmo. Hughes. McCann. Story picks it up. Gives it back to McCann. Pigs into the middle of Holmes. Gets out wide to Brady. He's got a lot of space in front of him. He's attacking. He's put it into a dangerous area and Holmes can't get on the end of it. There's two early chances for Preston here. But here we've got the ball. 13 minutes in. Walters to Sykes. Conway leads it off. Oh. Mehti Pring just over the bar. Good chance. But a good first real chance. 20 minutes in. We've got time to encourage. Story. Preston don't want that there. Walters misses it. Edwards gets the ball. Walters down the line to Sykes. Can you do the defender? Gets the ball in early. It's a good pass. Matty. Back post can't get his header on target. And it still stays 1-0 Preston. 26 minutes in. Naismith just inside our hat in the half. Pulls to Walters. Knocks it on. Brown can clear. Sykes will pick it back up. Cuts inside. On his left peg. No, lays it back off to uh, Vermeer. Pring coming forward. Gets into the box. Great one by Pring. Pring shoots. And Woodman must get a touch. And it stays 1-0. Here's a corner. Hopefully our set-piece coach is actually working with his um, afro. May James take it. It's whipped in their post. Can we get the back and ball? Mahetti takes a touch. It's it. It's rattled the bar. Walters gets it in. Conway Knight. Jason Knight on his debut makes it 1-1. Big pressure from us then. Massive pressure from the corner, which wasn't properly cleared. Finally to Mahetti, he shoots, hits the bar, falls out to Walters, takes a touch, gets the cross back in. Conway's shot is blocked. It falls tonight. It looks like he does hit his arm, but there is no VAR in the championship. We will take it 1 1. 35 minutes in then. Walters. The throw. The psych. Sykes again. Gets it in cross low. Conway! <sighs> He's dragged it just wide. Just wide. Oh, Tommy Conway. But good first half so far. 38 minutes in. Prink. To Knight. To Naismith. Space back here. To Edwards. Gets hold of Walters. He's looked good so far. Walters. He's gone past this man. Good ball back post. Conway can't get there. It's cleared him as far as Pring. Cuts inside. Back post. Sykes. Heads it high and over the bar. Another chance goes begging. And that is the half time whistle. 1-1. One, one. Preston had that early chance, and that's it so far. We've been all over them. It's been a good first half. You could tell the boys, don't lose faith. We keep creating chances, we'll be good. Anyone got a book in? No one got a book in, which is good. Defence has been quite solid, apart from that own goal. But we go again, second half. Here comes Pring, bringing it forward. This is tonight. Goal score out to Mertin. Good football. Lovely to watch. Can we get the ball back in? The Pring, edge of the box. My foot shoots. Woodman just tips it over. It's a great save. Good early chance for us in the second half. James take this corner then. Which one is it? Near post. Middle. McCann clears it. Story does eventually. 
Mete. Matty James. Oh, loses out the top Robbie Bailey. Did Tom beat them? Sykes picks it up. 48 minutes. Good start to the second half from us. Naismith out to Walters. People in the box get the cross, and he does. It's cleared. Emir as far as Viner. Out to Pring. Matty Pring. Oh, good ball, Mahetti. Mahetti's got a score. He has. It's 2 1. 48 minutes in. It's not offside given. VAR. Where's the VAR when you bloody want it? He looked onside to me. Corner to Preston. 52 minutes in. Can we clear it? Brown. Ripped in. It's clear. Not sure by who, but as far as McCammock, Viner gets up first. Ends up to the halfway line. We're not pressing. We're not pressing. Potts. He's just turned him. Gets a shot in. Brad Potts. O'Leary. I've got to be looking at O'Leary. I've got to look at him there because that's a shot. Goal shouldn't really be going in from there from that, from that angle. No pressure on him. Potts is an easy turn. Just shot. O'Leary, you got to do better then, mate. But Preston, we're leading 2-1. Oh, we're going to make a change. Unfortunately, Walter's lacquered. He's, he's ran, his little legs ragged. George Tanner is coming on. Who else are we going to bring on? Conway's not done enough. Is that Vines on a yellow card? But for the time being, we're going to bring on George Tanner for Walters. He's had a good first 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 game so far. He's all right. Just over an hour gone. We do have a corner, don't we? A corner at all. But we've got just over 13 minutes left, and since that Preston goal, nothing has absolutely happened. Matty James has been gone quiet, so we're going to bring on Joe Williams. We're going to bring off Mahetti as well and bring on McAteer. We're going to keep Conway on. And that's it, I think. But there's a chance here of Pring. Can he keep it on? He has picked up a book in. Gets the cross in. Sykes, he can't get his header. It's headed wide behind by Hughes for a corner with 12 minutes to go. Our subs have just come on. Can we make an impact? Naismith. Free kick. Whips it in left foot. It's about post to Sykes. Off the post. Rebound. Sykes gets there. It was a goal mouth scramble in the end. I'm not sure who, who headed the first goal. Headed the first shot. But the free kick whipped in by Naismith. It's a great ball in. Sykes gets up. Hits the post. And then it just rebounds off the Preston defender and falls nicely to Sykes. It makes it 2-2. Two, two. Ten minutes to go. Can we go and get the winner? We have two subs left. We're going to bring off Jason Knight and bring on Andres Weiman. And also we're going to bring off Tommy Conway and bring on Naki Wells for the last eight minutes. Can we go and push for a winner? we got a corner. No, we haven't got a corner. Goal kick. Last couple of minutes. 87 minutes in. Edwards, the Weiman, looking for Sykes, but it's a poor pass to Hughes. Lays it off the Brady. Sykes is still with him. Gives it back to Hughes. To what, man? Can't believe Preston have had two chances and scored both times. Brown, but here they come. Looking dangerous again. Fongier. Gets out of the pots. Woodburn looked offside, no flag. Back to the pots. McCann from distance is blocked. Falls to Brady. Goes back to Hughes. McCann. To Brown. Not from that distance, surely. He's not far off, mind you. He's not far off. Injury time. Seven minutes added on injury time. Ridiculous. McAteer. Werner. Can we get this winner? Naismith. Out wide to Tanner. Touch gets into the box. Tanner shoots. It's taking deflection and goes out for a corner. Corner to be whipped in by McAteer. Can we create something? One more chance. All we need. Preston fans are giving him some jip in that corner. Doesn't matter. He whips it in. Edwards gets it. He doesn't. Lucky Wells! Oh! Lucky Wells just follows it over the bar. I think that might be our last chance. So the first game finishes 2-2. Two, two. Sykes and Knight with a goal for us. Avena own goal. And a Potts shot, which should have been saved by O'Leary and all fairness. Prink, 7.8. Sykes on 8.1. Good ratings. One point earned or two points dropped? Should have won that by the chances we had. We had a lot of chances. We did have a lot of chances. I can't believe we didn't win that. We created a few chances. Defensive errors, goalkeeper errors. But never mind. We go on to the next one. And it's the Carabao Cup. So it might be a chance to get some of these young kids in. And give them some game time. So after that 1-1 result. 
we're currently sitting in 10th. It's maybe first game of the season. We're not too worried, in all fairness. Some teams haven't played yet. What for the top of the table? Winning 4 4 1. 4 0 against QPR, Watford. Norwich 4 1 against Hull. No massive result, results there, really. As I said, we do have a Carabao Cup game against Crawley now. Now, we have got to be competitive in the Carabao Cup, but I am going to make a few changes. I will see you then. If anything change, anything happens between now and then, it will cut back to me. So, here we go then. Game day. Carabao Cup, first round away to Crawley. We are going to make some wholesome changes to this squad. Just because fitness-wise and it's not really our main priority, the Carabao Cup. But it's always nice to go on a cut run. So, we're going to make some changes. And this is the starting lineup. Two players keep their place from the last game. We've got Balich in goal. We've got Tanner. Dickey. Edwards keeps his place. Roberts on the left. King and Williams in the centre midfield. Sykes also keeps his place with Feynman and Bell. And Mackie Wells up for top. That's the starting lineup. Like I said, it's the Carabao Cup, but not our main priority. So giving players some game time is always good. Away to Crawley. Not sure what to expect, in all honesty. Always tell the boys I'm proud of them. Give them a little bit of confidence. That's a dirty roof. But it looks like Crawley are going for the 3-3-2. Three, three, That's a weird formation from Crawley. Very weird formation. Of course, we've gone for the 4-2-3-1, like we've just seen. Pitch is looking lovely. It's not raining. It is dark. We're in our away black shirt, which is quite nice. It's out of stock on the Bristol City website at the moment. Otherwise, I would have bought one. But I am wearing a very good one. It's a bit weird. But we kick off with the ball. King out to Tanner. Can we get an early pressing goal? Always be nice. Set the set the tone. Tanner whips it in close early. It's deflected wide for an early corner after 20 seconds. The stand is not full. Can we capitalise on this set piece? Roberts near post. Williams heads it away. It's going to be easy and it's cleared. And there we go. First chance, come and gone. But second chance is very close behind. Second minute's Bell to Williams. To Vyman. Over to Sykes. Can he keep it in? He does. Gets it back to Tanner. Takes a touch. Takes another touch. It's a shot. It's blocked. Sykes to Williams. Sykes. Straight at Ashby Hammond. And good early pressure from us. Can we keep it up for 90 minutes now? But Crawley rolled it out and they've got past the press. Gordon, a heavy touch so Williams gets there first, but he can't control it. Gordon again. Williams is tracking back. Gordon's got nowhere to go. He's got to find the pass over Henry. He gives it to Conroy, to Williams, to Kelly, to Telford. Telford shoots from distance. And it's a good save by Balich in the end. Tips it wide for a Crawley corner. Three minutes in, end to end. Can we get this ball clear? Henry to whip it in. It's in the mixer and it's cleared by Dickey. Good head by Dickey. Can we get that first though? It's a race between Williams and Conroy. Williams gets there, lays it up back to Bell. Good touch. Picks the pass one. Williams with a good tackle. And so far this highlight is still going. Williams. Henry. To Campbell. Edwards gets in there, robs him. Gives it to Bell. Sees the run of Vyman. Got Naki Wells to the left of him. To the right of him. Got someone to the right of him. He lays it off back to Roberts though. We're keeping the ball well. Tanner takes a touch. Left foot shot. Takes a deflection. Goes out for a corner. This is end to end stuff. This first this first five minutes. Roberts whips it in. Near post. Lynch heads it clear. And that is it. Ten minutes in. Edwards picks up the ball. Gives it out to Dickey. Got time on it. Gives it to Tanner. He's looking very dangerous so far this first ten minutes. Gives it to Wells in the middle. Can we spread the play? Still Naki Wells. Good ball. Sam Bell shoots through the legs of the goalkeeper. Sammy Bell. 11 minutes in. 1 0. And it's definitely what we deserve. Naki Wells picks it up. Sees the Werner Bell. Takes a touch. Looks like a toe poke. Not through the legs of the goalkeeper. I, do, uh, I am wrong. Apologies. But 1 0. He's looking for a tight offside. There's no offside there. Corner ball, 26 minutes in. King to take it. Is he the king of the set pieces? Every time we tell. He's whipped it in their post. Dickey, off the post. Edwards, Bonnie Edwards gets his first goal for the club. It was an open goal. The corner's whipped in by King. 
Dickie gets his head on there, heads it across goal, hits the post. As you can see, the keeper gets nowhere near it. And Ronnie Edwards is first there to tap it in. Crawley nail, Bristol City 2. Corner for Crawley then. 32 minutes in, Henry's going to take it. There's a man on the goalkeeper, no one's marking him. He's whipped in back post, Lynch can get there, he doesn't get there. It's cleared as far as Conroy. Sykes is after him, he's picked up a booking, he's got to be careful. Lynch. Talasulia. Is that it? Tass I, I butchered your name, I apologise. Well, Tanner makes a good tackle, but he picks up again. Lays off to Henry. Henry's in distance, and it's easy for Barrich to save. 39 minutes in, the goal kick for Crawley. Playing it out wide, playing it short. Gordon, it's a good tackle by Roberts, and he keeps it in as well. There's me with me little... There you go, look at me. Maybe the red top wasn't the best idea. Might have to change it to a black one on red short. I don't know, we'll see. Let's get rid of all that. I don't want to see that. Nope, wrong one. There we go. But Tanner, Sykes, left foot. Sykes, shoot, it's blocked. It's not blocked, it's gone out for a goal kick. And that's the halftime whistle, winning 2-0. Quite a comfortable game so far. Only thing we've got to worry about is people getting booked. Sykes has been booked. Just going to tend to calm down a little bit. Don't need to get sent off. Game is done. One more goal early on and the game is dead and buried. And then we are into the second round of the Carabao Cup. But this is football and you never know what might happen. But Crawley are starting to strong in this second half. I think their manager might give them a bit of a bit of a bollocking. Let's see if they come at us. If they come at us to leave space behind, hopefully we can capitalise on that. But Campbell's got it. Conroy, they're keeping the ball well. We'll start this second half. Conroy gives it to Henry. Williams. 30 yards out. Good tackle by King. Henry. Right. Back to Williams. That weighs them to to a toes back to Lynch they're keeping the ball well Crawley they're passing it around Henry looking for that opening Henry shoots it wasn't really an opening oh, can we counter now with Naki Wells he's travelling out their defence and Conway makes a good tackle Crawley do look dangerous to start the second half Henry he's off to Gordon takes a touch gets out wide it's off the post I don't think the keeper knew much about it in all fairness and Williams is just clattered a oh, right size has clattered into Naki World. I thought it was Williams. Right, 55 minutes in, we're going to make a sub. Sykes is absolutely knackered, so we're going to be on Casey McAteer again. Just because Sykes is knackered and got picked up a book in, don't want to risk him getting <laughs> injured or sent off, especially at this scoreline. We'll make a change on the 70th minute. So far, it's been all quiet since the start of that, since they hit the post. There we go. Make some changes then. Sammy Bell, goal scores coming off. And we're going to bring on Harry Cornick. Give him some game time. Who else is not looking too shabby at the minute? Everyone else is looking not too bad. Crawley corner, 8th, 74th minute. Henry to take it. He's whipped it in. He's in the mixer. It's off the bar. No, it's off the bar. Toby Omo has got the goal. It's 2 1. It's the first ever goal for Crawley. It's a great header. I thought it just hit the bar. But Henry whips it back post. Omo out jumps the defender. It's in off the bar and it's 2-1 game. Back on 15 to go. We need to um, wake up, boys. We think the game was over and done with. It's clearly not. Ronnie Edwards. Williams. King. It's been a slim second half of us. We haven't recreated really nothing. Tanner. Can we create something now? Gets the ball in. There's no one there. Gordon. Back to the keeper. Right, I mean, let's play it out. But it's, it's poor pass. Vyman can capitalise. He's off the post. How did Vyman miss that? He should have scored that. So we've got 10 minutes left and Joe Williams has picked up a knock. So we're going to take him off and bring on Matty James. But it's all... Well, we can use five subs, but... I mean, three stoppages. So if anything happens in the next 10 minutes, we could be screwed. I'm not going to lie. Hopefully nothing does. Crawley could be down to 10 men anyway because they've got a player injured. I think they've used all their subs. But brought to Roberts for James. Matty James is your box... Doesn't decide to shoot. We've got five minutes left. Matty James looks for Cornick. Who came on for Bell. Lays it off to Tanner. Overhits it really. He's got to move. Feynman. Cornick. James as your box. Oh, lays it off to Roberts. Good football keeping the ball. We're like an end product though. Matty James. McAteer. Tanner making the run. Gets it in. Shoots. Keeper tips it over the bar. Is another corner. Can we get 
another goal from our set piece. Our set piece coach will be so happy if we do. Matty James will put in then on his right peg. He's got near post. Dickie can't get there when Mould does. But he falls back to James. He lets it roll for a throw in. Couple of minutes left. It's quite nervy, in all fairness. It's going to be the first round of the Cowbell Cup. But Crawley are putting a shift in and giving us a hell of a game. Cornix is a bit of time wasting here, I think. Not sure what he's doing. You can barely see him on that black um, board or ad board. But Tanner. Telford gets tackling. Tanner was late on the tackle. We're going to be into injury time where there will be eight minutes injury time. Wow. That is a lot of injury time. That is eight minutes injury time. Nothing has happened. There must have been an injury at some point because Crawley went down to 10 men. But we are through to the second round of the Carabao Cup. 2-1 win. Bell and Edwards getting the goals for us. Wasn't a convincing win. I'm not going to lie. It was, it, was, it was a real Jekyll and Hyde story, that was. We could have done better. We should have done better. We should have put that game to bed. But we take a 2-1 victory. Hopefully we have a big boy in the next round of the Cup. Joe Williams has got a bruised ankle. He's out for a couple of days. He will be all right. What we're going to do, we're going to see the Carabao Cup second round draw. And then we will end this episode. So here we go in the Carabao Cup second round draw. Who are we going to get? Hopefully we get a big club. I think some Premier League teams are in it now. Not too sure. Would you Adam and Eve it? Bristol City versus Bristol Rovers in the Carabao Cup second round. Oh my dear God. What a tie that will be. And that is definitely going to be for the next episode. Thank you very much for joining me today. If you have enjoyed today's episode, please smash that like button. If you want to see more of my FM24 content, please hit the subscribe button and ring the little notification bell so you're notified when a new video does go live. Trying to get videos out every day whilst the beta is out. We're also looking to get 10 likes. If we can get 10 likes on this video, that'd be absolutely fantastic. Make sure you come back and join me for episode 3 where we play whole in the league and then a Bristol derby already in the save Bristol Rovers come to Ashton Gate oh god the waterfront's going to be a nightmare until next time guys say so look after yourself and I'll see you all very very soon toodles you like me lover Ooh.